fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Okay, I guess we're going in. Those cakes? Beer? Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Oh no. Is it the money? Darn it! Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. Ooh. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Oh, dang, Dad. Dang. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. What? Oh, oh wait, cut up? Why is it cut up like this? Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. I never had the chance to say it. Yosuke is standing next to her. Yeah. In the photo. Is that Senpai's voice? Oh, what the I heck? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Ooh. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Oh, man. Oh, I feel <sighs> this hurts me. The pain in the ass. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's. So sad. I feel oh, what so the heck? sorry for myself. Boo hoo. Yosuke? What the heck? Who is that? Actually, I'm the one oh. Who everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, huh? Two Yosuke's? This one's glowing though. I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? Jeez. The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. <laughs> you didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? No scale. It's not true. Stop. Stop it. No scale. Come on, man. Pull it together. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? 
<laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! You're scary. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Oh! Oh shoot! What what's going on? Yo skate! Oh my god! Holy giant whatever the hell you are! Shadow! The true self! I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Nerf Golf Club, don't fail me now. Wind of Oblivion. Oh, what the? Shadow Yosuke is laughing How maniacally. Long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. I'm feeling threatened right now. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending, attacks to your weakness and status ailments attacks can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack, or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will leave the defense stance after being hit once. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Uh, skills. Zeo. <coughs> oh, yes! Let's do it again! Wait, what's this do? Uh, show info. Actually, let's Sorta. use this. Treats her defects. Don't underestimate me! No! Zeo! Do it again. Don't underestimate me. Guard, huh? It's guarding its weak point. Okay, then I guess I'll just attack it normally. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Defense reverted. That didn't take long. Uh, items. Medicine. Okay, that heals pretty good. Shadow Yosuke is charged up. Uh-oh. Uh, may want to... I may want to guard that, actually. Okay. He's a nugget! He's a Guard. Don't underestimate me! Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! Oh! Okay, never mind. Guard. Huh, that's it? Boring! Get out of my sight. Wind of Oblivion. Ha! That didn't do much at all. Persona! Persona! What else do I have in item? Soul drop. Persona! Oh, I'm really low on SP actually. That's not gonna work. Ow. Zero. Persona. Don't underestimate me. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Guard. Is 
the soul drop. Yeah, it'll restore 10 SP. That's not gonna work! Uh-oh. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, let's use this medicine so we don't die. Persona! It's going to attack! Alright, now I go. Defend yourself! Damn it, don't underestimate me! Persona! Persona! <laughs> 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 Okay. Guard. In, in the ass. Here comes an attack. Defend your Okay, we'll just guard again. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm going to crush you with everything I got. Uh-oh. Wind of Oblivion again. Ha! Huh. That didn't deal as much. Persona! Persona! Alright, what about this thing? Cleave. We haven't used this yet. Persona! Oh, but that dealt a lot of damage. Don't underestimate me! Get out of my face! Uh oh. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! We're so close! Medicine, please! It's going to attack! Defend nope! What a freaking pain in the ass! Get out of my way! No! Make me! Cleave! Yeah! Almost! One more should do it. Yes! Got him! Oh, wow! The 3,000 money! Felt a surge of energy inside you after that recent battle. Amazing, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. You can now uh, create personas up to level 3. Something inside of you has changed. Izanagi has leveled up. Magic has increased by two. To two. By two. Luck has increased by one. Nice. I. I. You okay, Yosuke? Yosuke, are you okay? It's yeah. my line. What happened? Oh. You. You're. Not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Oh. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You're still yourself. You have to be brave. Everyone's the same inside. You're still yourself. Myself. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. Yosuke. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of the heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. Feeling beat? When we heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> 
He was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Sir. No worries, man, I got you. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. Mmm. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. Wow. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. In that case, we should probably head back. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? Oh, that's a good question. Very valuable question. I don't know. It's never happened before. Hmm. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them? This world killed them? It was the same for them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. Yeah, he did mention that earlier. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. While the fog was still here, but then after a while, it lifted and they were just gone. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Yep. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. I guess it's kind of lucky that we were able to fight back then. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. Hmm. So someone might be watching us right now. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. You hear that? Yosuke? Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? That seems to be the case. We need to find the culprit. We won't know unless we try. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? What's up? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? That is a very good question. What even are you? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. Hmm. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Really? Uh, I, I guess that makes sense. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. 
We don't know. Will you guys come back here? Yeah, we'll come back and visit you. Of course. We made a promise. We have no choice. Of course. Really? Yeah. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. What's up? I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You got it. From the same place? The TV at your nest? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. Ah, uh, okay. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Ooh. Oh. Got it? Got it. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Ta-da! Ta-da! Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. And how do we do that? Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! Squish, go! We don't have time for this! I have Oprah to watch! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, Chie! Hey, I actually forgot about you. You, go you guys came back! <laughs> yeah, we made it back. Huh? We got glasses. Whoa, what's with that face? You all right? Ow! <laughs> oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I feel as though we upset her a bit. I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! <laughs> Yes, we clearly very much upset her, oh jeez. And she's gone. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Yeah... Maybe we did go a little too far. But we almost died. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Same here, man. Don't forget the rope. Well, see you in the morning. See you later. Near the floodplain while walking home from Juness. Oh! Hmm? Yukiko! She's wearing a kimono! Oh! Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Somewhat. Not really. I like it here. I think it's gonna be really? very interesting. But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> I made her cry today. We're getting along. She's a real handful. I don't know yet. We're, we're, we're getting along. Nothing's wrong. I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. 
Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> see you later. After school, evening. Dad's late. Ooh, lotion on TV. I mean, yes. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student oh, Saki Kamishi was great. found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. Let's change the channel. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. Well, that's late. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Ooh, that's right. Fog. Another incident. Why don't we change the channel, Nanako? Look, let's find a Juness commercial. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Oh. It can't be helped. Are you worried about him? I'll be here with you. I'll be we'll here be with okay. you. okay. Oh, wow. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on TV, wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Oh no. Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. Mm. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Nanako, please change the channel, please. Huh? No, um... The reporter's ramblings go further and further off subject until the point where he's actually talking about her nail polish. We don't know why, but we are, feel we are both feeling very uncomfortable with this. This is boring. <laughs> this is oh, boring. I need to do the dishes. I'll help. You decided to help out with the housework. Help, you can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and save it there. Oh my gosh. Alright, well that was fun. Oh man, what a very emotionally taxing episode. Yeah, Saki died. We found out that it was probably murder because of the whole TV thing. We went in there, Chie cried when we came back out, and Yosuke had to face himself. Oh man, you don't see that happening every day. Anyways guys, thank you all very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video or the content with them, feel free to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section down below. If you want to have notifications of future uploads, just like this one, come straight to you as they go live. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a Squatch Ken today. Anyways guys, thank you all very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I am Pum Squatch. Goodbye.